Hey guys, Matt DeResta here. In this video, we're gonna be talking about tungsten. Up until a couple days ago, I was completely 100% clueless on tungsten, on what it is, on which one you should buy, on how you should use it, on how you need to grind it. There is so much information about tungsten, it's pretty unbelievable. So I wanted to do a video dedicated to that information. And in this whole entire series, I want to kind of bring all the information that I'm learning about TIG welding as I get started using it into one series, into one place where you can find all this information. This is all completely brand new to me. You can see I have my notes here. So let's jump right in. Obviously you could see right off the bat that these are two different types of tungsten, two different color codes. What's the difference? Which one should you use and why? I mean, that's the most basic question when you go to the store to purchase your tungsten, you need to know which tungsten type you want to buy, which electrodes you need for the type of welding that you're gonna be doing. From the research that I've done, there's two main organizations that do the color coding for tungsten. And they're different organizations and their color codes may not completely match up with each other, which is kind of crazy to me and makes everything a bit confusing. So I just wanna say, when, when you're buying your tungsten for whatever type of project you're doing, you really need to do your homework on which type you're gonna need that will best serve you for the application that you're working on. Now there was two main sources that I got most of this information from and I'll put those in the description below one of them was obviously longevity their website and their YouTube channel lwelds.com and then also a buddy named mr. Tid very smart guy really knows what he's doing great teacher got a lot of info from him these are both sources of information that I trust so I'm gonna pass this information along to you guys tungsten comes in different colors which are based on the type of material that tungsten is made out of or has in it it also comes in different sizes so you need to find out which size is gonna work best for the application or project you're working on this next bit of information is roundabout numbers but it's a nice place to at least start and have an idea on picking the size of tungsten you need. So with a 1 16th tungsten, your max amperage is gonna be about 100 amp. With 330 seconds, your max amperage is gonna be about 250 amps. And with 1 8 inch tungsten, your max amperage is gonna be about 400 amps. Again, I'm saying about, and you don't wanna push those amps too much with those sizes because that'll cause your tungsten to deteriorate which obviously you don't want. This is actually the most preferred tungsten and the most sold tungsten. And this red thoriated tungsten, in my case, I have 2%. In a roundabout way of saying it, if you're gonna be doing DC welding, you're gonna wanna go with thoriated tungsten. There's different percentages of how much thoria is in the tungsten, so you wanna do your homework on that and find out which is gonna best serve you and your application. But thoriated tungsten is best for DC welding. Now, it will work on AC, but there is better tungsten you could get when you're working on AC for your project. I found this bit of information out actually tonight, about an hour ago. I was watching some TIG welding videos, and if you go to weld.com, they put together an entire color-coded organization sheet that you could use to help find which tungsten is right for you and your application. So the next bit of info on tungsten I wanna get into is grinding your tungsten. Now when you buy these and they come out of the package, you can see one end is color coded, one end is not, but both ends are flat. They have no point to them at all. Now if I put this in my TIG gun like this, it would not work for me very well. You want to grind your tungsten electrode to a very nice fine point. The finer the point and the nicer job you do of grinding, the nicer and cleaner weld you will get. Let's go out to the other room where the grinder is. I want to show you guys a couple things that I've learned about 
grinding your tungsten. So this is the bench grinder that I have and that is probably in most shops. And this is what I will be grinding my tungsten on. They do sell special machines that are dedicated for grinding tungsten and you literally could set the angle, stick it in the machine, and it'll grind your tungsten to a perfect point every time. I don't have one of those machines and from what I've heard, you could get a cheap one maybe for 50, 75 bucks, higher end ones, 100 and up. I don't have one of those. So we're going to be using the bench grinder, which is fine. You could definitely get it done, but there are right ways and wrong ways to do it. Oh, so I'll get down low so you guys can see me. Like I said, when the tungsten comes out of the package, it is not ground. At least the tungsten that I've bought. And I don't know if they sell pre-grounded to a point tungsten or not. First thing I want to talk about is the grinding wheel. You can see my grinding wheel is dirty, grimy. It's been on here for probably three or four years. Pretty much every kind of material you could ever think of has been stuck into this grinder so would I want to grind my tungsten with this wheel no all of that dirt and grime and contaminant from other materials that I've ground with this wheel would then get into my tungsten and all that stuff will get into my weld and will cause it to be not as clean, as nice as a weld. So you wanna buy a dedicated brand new wheel that you will only use for grinding your tungsten. So what I recommend doing, what I've seen other welders do is just buy a dedicated bench grinder for your TIG grinding so you're not constantly changing out wheels now it would seem the easiest way to grind your tungsten would just be to you know hold it to the side like this maybe spin it or put in a screw gun and spin it and grind it to a nice point so when you're grinding your tungsten from the side like this it's gonna put grind marks and a grain pattern going around the tungsten from the side that's not the way you want it to go the proper way to do it is to come straight at it and hold it like this and grind with your metal going straight into the wheel also when you're grinding your tungsten you do not want to breathe that dust in so it's recommended to wear a mask or a respirator I want to thank longevity I want to thank you guys at home for taking the time and watching these videos hopefully you learn something from these I know I am learning a crap load of stuff way more than I ever thought I would there is so much stuff to know it could be overwhelming but just take it one step at a time that's why I'm not rushing in trying to weld the day I got this machine I'm taking the time and I'm learning all these different things and different steps and it's all making its way into my brain and it's it's all somewhat staying there. So thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. If you guys like what I do on this channel and would like to help out, please check me out on patreon.com. Matt, the rest of there'll be a link below. If you want to see daily pics of what we have going on in the shop, what we're building, me and my pops just messing around, follow me on Instagram, at Matt DeResta. Check out longevity at lwelds.com. Check out their YouTube channel, lwelds.com. They have a lot of good information about tickets welding about using their machines in video format that's easy to swallow that's easy to take in and digest so thank you for hanging in there for another video so i'll see you guys back here in a couple weeks thank you so much for watching matt DeResta out